If you are reading this, sometime in the far future, or even a moment after I have died, this is the journal of Joshua, a son of Lucian. Now hopefully when you read this, my name will have a great significance to you, whether it be good or bad. If it doesn't, then I simply was not the one of whom it was foretold. If you know little of me or of my people, this book should be more than enough for you. That is, if I have lived long enough to tell you the tale. My name is Joshua, son of Nun. My mother died when I was young, and no one knows who my father was. Some say he was a wandering warrior, others say a nobleman. My mentor tells me that I have no father, that my birth was simply a miracle. I do not know what to believe, and truly, it matters little to me. All that matters now is the goal that is set before me. I was raised by a man who was known to my people as a blade master. Blade masters are a renowned group of warriors that served under the princes of old. Now, they wander the land searching for the Messiah, a son of Lucian who will conquer Calvary and bring his people into the promised land. Whether it was a blessing or a curse, my mentor has found me, and he believes I am the child of promise. I've been trained in warfare, politics, religion, and history since a young age. All of this for the sake of fulfilling something prophesied long ago. A Messiah with no father and no mother raised in the land of his people's greatest enemy, a savior who will unite his people and lead his people into the promised land. My mentor found me when I was only a babe. He told me that he knew my mother and that shortly after my birth I was entrusted in his care. All blade masters are regarded as pious men, but I feel that my mentor has an edge over many of them. Many a time in my youth all the way to my adult age did he tell me about the God of my people known as the Father of Lights. That this God had chosen me to lead my people into the promise in which he gave them. I'm not sure if I believe the things that my mentor has spoken to me. I don't know if he is mad or quite sane. However, I've always held a deep yearning and sorrow in my heart for the restoration of the glory of my people. I do not know if this God has placed this on me, or if this is simply passed on because of the blood that we share. Regardless though, I have a new goal. I do not know if I am the Messiah, nor do I care. I only wish to satisfy this craving in my heart, this yearning in my heart for my people. If I must be the Messiah to do so, then so be it, even if I must die to do so. I have nothing else. I know nothing else. If there is anything, surely I'll find it on this path. My mentor has recited to me many times the prophecies of old. The first sign of one being the Messiah is to serve under my people's greatest enemy. As the prophecy goes, the chosen one of God raised under the oppressors of his people serves his enemy only to carve the steps for their downfall. For the blade of a traitor knows where his foe's heart lies. A warrior rising from the ashes of warfare turns his blade against those whom he fought alongside. My mentor has made arrangements for me to join one of the many armies of the Empire. If I survive my time there, then perhaps he is not so crazy anymore. I now have a task set before me. If I am truly what he says I am, then the God of my people will be with me. I do not find comfort in that phrase for I am not nearly as pious as my blade master. But now, the journey shall begin for me. The man known as Joshua, the son of Nun. What's up guys, my name is 50 Levels Up and welcome to Mountain Blade Bannerlord with our good friend here, Joshua, who is on a mission to conquer Calradia for his people. Because for them, all of this is the promised land. Hey, did you know that like, this is actually the same map as the one that's in Warband. Like, if you really look at it. Because, um... Let's see. Because, let's see, like, Suno and stuff. Anyway, it's the same map, literally. You just have to put it side by side. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not the point. That's not the point. But, yeah, we're here. We're here with Joshua, who wants to do everything that he can to help his people. Including being the Messiah for them. So, we're going to find ourselves a nice Imperial Lord to go be a soldier for because that's one of the first things that the messiah has to do in order to fulfill prophecy so the very specific guy that we should become a lord for his name is theopolis yeah this guy right here and so these are the very 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 humble beginnings to our story now, i'm very excited to be playing banner lord because I really like Banner Lord, and I haven't played it in forever, and I really want to play 1.7.2, because, I mean, uh, all the mods that I wanted to use were at least for this one, so, and there's probably a few for 1.8.0, but it's not the point. I'm just very excited to play Banner Lord, because I love it. 
almost as much as I love Warband. It's just, you know, the modding scene, well, when the modding scene gets even better with Bannerlord once it's fully finished and all that stuff, I'll definitely like it much more than Warband, but I think it's better though. Oh, wait, since we're here, let's go ahead and participate in this tournament. So part of the reason why Joshua also needs to serve as a soldier for a little while is because even though he's been trained since he was a youth in like the art of combat, he still needs some actual combat experience. And so what better combat experience to get than to serve as a soldier? But furthermore, not only that, but in order to defeat the Empire, which is his people's sworn enemy, he has to learn about them too, or learn about them first. Wow, I barely missed that. I really could have died. Who's this naked lady? Dead naked lady. That was easy. And so what better way for him to serve the Empire for a little while to know their secrets so that he can know best how to destroy them? That was easy. This man Joshua is going to be a monster. He's going to be a beast when he grows up. The greatest warrior of his people. Leading them into the promised land. Oh my gosh. Oh. Now for this playthrough, I did want to use realistic... Um, battle AI module but I believe it's causing like a crash that makes the game unplayable so sadly I can't use it. I'm never able to use that mod I really like it too because you know it makes the game harder because I always play all mountain blades on like the highest combat difficulty oh my goodness the guy just went flying and so realistic AI battle module just makes it even better now all we need to do is beat this I don't even know who this is I think he's a lord though. Oh, he's a Praetorius Equus Probatus? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to read Latin. And I'm also very excited to be playing Eagle Rising as well. Because I've never played this mod before. And it's kind of the best Mountain Blade Warband mod out right now. Besides that Warstar Conquest one, I would say. So, just all around excitement for me. And of course, I get to play Bannerlord. And I get to play, I get to make YouTube videos. So, that's awesome. But yeah, one thing I do want to say about Joshua is that he was raised by a battle master whom oh, and also we'll learn we'll learn plenty about Joshua's people as we go along the story from just other characters and Joshua himself as he writes his diary. But one thing I have to say about Joshua, ooh, we got a lot of XP too. Is that he was raised by a battle master, and battle masters are usually versatile in many different weapons. And so Joshua has kind of inherited that trait a little bit too, so we're going to try to make him as versatile with as many weapons as possible. Like both one handed and two handed, uh, pole arms, bows, and throwing as well. But for the most part, Joshua kind of has a preference to fight on foot, though. Hopefully, we can get into a good battle, though. Usually, with the Empire, at least the Western Imperium, like they kind of gather up and make an army near immediately. And then they go and go to war against Batania, but they might not. No, okay, they're, they're, they're definitely at war with somebody. But I suppose... Huh. This, this actually tells me that realistic battle AI module was the reason my game was crashing. Because it also, I think, changes the way that parties behave as well. Ooh, another tournament. Let's, partic let's participate in the tournament again. And this will give us some good experience as well. Just one-handed, two-handed, and it'll also give us some money. But for now, for the sake of things, Joshua is going to hide his identity. I hate the fact that it took like forever to actually load. But yeah, for the sake of things, Joshua is going to hide his identity for a little while. And just kind of bide his time. Oh, our guys are going crazy. Bide his time, build up his resources until everything's ready. Oh, I love that. I love the death animation for that. That was so, that was so nice. Now, Silver Soldier has some really cool features because I think I can also recruit companions while I'm in my army, or in the army, once I'm like tier 6 or something like that. And I can have the compa I can have my companions fight alongside me as a personal retinue. But I think also when I get, when I get a high enough rank, I'll be able to command a division, a battalion. But, 
our, our good man Joshua is going to have to learn as much as he can about how this Roman, this legendary, unbeatable Roman war machine works. So, you know, he can know the best way to take it down. And if he can take down the Romans, he can take on everybody else. Or, I guess, the Kauroidi, Kau, 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 Empire? Kauroidic Empire? Whatever. Oh, he kind of ate that. Yeah, I was like, I need to pull out my Gladius here, pal. Oh, this is, oh, this is actually my, oh, this is my commanding officer. Well, it's, my, it's the guy I enlisted for. Theopolis. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I may be new to this, but I'm significantly stronger than you. Who's this? Honestly, this, this, this Latin stuff, I'm just going to start saying it in English. Because I can kind of, I can kind of gauge what it is. So, Praetorian Tiro. Legionnaire, uh, Legionnaire Aquila. I don't know what Aquila is. And now I think about it, in the older generations, they actually took Latin in high school. But now we just take French and Spanish. I wonder what happened. Hey, buddy, I know we were on the same team last time, but uh, I got to get some gold here. Oof. These gladiators are really strong. Because we, we're, not, we're not that strong at all. We shouldn't be doing that much damage, but these things do a lot of damage. Hey, Gary has sent me a, a pouch of gold. Hey, neat. For, <laughs> that's, um, I, I believe that's the leader of the Western Imperium. So that, that's pretty cool. I don't know why he's sending me gold. But I think Theopolis is a part of his clan. So that's the thing. So we got 450 experience. Next level will be 600. We're going to keep getting passive athletics XP because we're going to need to be fast out on the battlefield if we're going to be running around on foot. Oh, we can train with the troops. Let's try that. Well, I, I know what this does, actually. Alright, so it puts us in... Yeah, so we can get training types. Puts us in here. Get a sword, and... A, yeah, I was like, an uh, enemy should spawn pretty soon. Ow. Ooh, hurt. So we can just... Yeah, upgrade our one-handed. Now, what we can also do is that if I press H, it'll auto-train. But for, for the one time, I'm going to just do this myself. And the auto training is so hilarious to look at. But yeah, this it's good that we're doing this training though, because it's gonna give us plenty of one-handed experience, and you can get like focus points and stuff like that as well. But who's this? Uper the Silent. Now, also another thing I noticed is that I don't know what mod I have installed, but certain lords actually have companions, and this is actually one of them. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Or actually, a lot of the lords have companions, so I think that's pretty dope. But it might be because of service soldier. Or one of my transfer companion modules. Ow. I like how me and him are going ham right now, though. I want to get my one-handed to 25, and then I'd be willing to stop this. Or to let it go on auto. Because I believe an auto, he's going to switch to his polar arm. Which makes no sense, but it's not the point. Because, you know, a spear is useless at this distance. And you have a sword. This guy's kind of eating a lot of hits. There we go. There's the focus point I was looking for. I like how I'm blocking the complete wrong direction, but, you know, it's a, it's a shield, so it's still going to block for me. I like how dynamic kicking is, because whenever uh, I used to kick in Warband, the junk just never, never sat right. Ah, oh, he got me. Alright, so now we'll end our training there, and I think we leveled up, too. Like, I think I leveled up just the moment I existed. Yeah, okay. So we're going to put this into one-handed and polearm, and then athletics, and then we're going to put one into vigor, and one into endurance. Alright, so we have 460 XP, and pretty soon we'll have enough to be a tier 2 infantry. Alright, looks like Garius is gathering an army now, so he's got us in Theopolis. This should be fun. Now he has Cat Catella. I don't know why, but I started thinking about Nutella. So yeah, it looks like looks like they're gonna have a gathering of army now. This should be pretty, plenty of fun, I should say. 
got to save every once in a while. Don't want to lose my progress. So with the service soldier mod, there is going to be a lot of kind of like redundance. So I'll try my best to cut out that part. But this is just the early parts of Joshua's journey, which is also going to be pretty fun for him. Help develop his character a little bit, develop who he is and help him grow as a man. Because right now he's 20 years old, but he might serve in the army for a few years. Gain his funds and all these different things and just bide his time until he has to go for the next goal of prophecy. Unless he dies, then he wasn't the Messiah. But if he doesn't, then he was the one that was foretold. Alright, looks like we're going to Varian Castle. Yeah, we are at War of Batania, so that should be fun. I think the Batanias are best based off the Celts or something like that in uh, Eagle Rising. So it's just going to be a bunch of naked guys. I've seen them before. Yeah, there's a bunch of naked guys. Sounds pretty entertaining. But look how many lords there are, though. Let's see. Five, nine, ten. Ten lords all together in his army. I guess I guess this is the usual, though. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other armies running around, too. That'll help out. Right, so it looks like our athletics is better. Let's get morning exercise. Yeah, I prefer morning exercise over everything. Makes us move faster. Man, the two games that I play that have like stutters like this are RimWorld. And Bannerlord, and it always freaks me out whenever that happens. Oh, Ergens or Ergen Ergens army. <laughs> oh, are we finna get into our first battle? Let's go. Ooh. They have an advantage over us. Interesting. Here we go. Let's get into our first battle. Should be plenty of fun. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think the loading screens are actually pretty long sometimes, so I'll make sure to cut those out if they are. Like this one. Alright guys, everything's ready for our first battle. And I guess I'll just put myself as the commander for my own formation. And alright, Theopolis is saying for us to move into range. Oh, these guys are carrying little eagle thingies. Because we're Romans. Oh, Junk, this is something like a giant wide field battle. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Look at us being a soldier. Now, I could turn off the hood, but the only thing about that is that now, then I can't see the command. So maybe when we get into, like, battle and we're charging and everything, I'll turn off the hood. Who's this guy? Uh, auxiliary Cohort Probatus? Auxiliary Cohort Miles? What does that even mean? I just love how we're all moving in formation and we all basically look the same. I love uniform uni uniformity in armies. I think it looks pretty cool. Well, I like the variety, but, like, variety, but still uniform. You get what I'm saying? Because variety lets you know that there's kind of different units that do different things. Oh, my goodness. I guess we're just getting straight into it. The Batanians are coming after us. I thought we had the better defense, but we're on the offense. I had to be, I got to be careful because I could definitely just get way ahead of myself. Because I'm definitely one of those people who plays Mountain Blade. I just go and kind of get wrecked because, you know, you don't die. But, <laughs> uh our main man's Joshua first for his first mission. It's gonna be a good thumbnail. Oh, we got a horse archer. Wait, does he have a crossbow? Oh, holy crap! Somebody should go murder him, and that guy too. How's he living? Oh, it's a mercenary outrider. Okay. There we go. All right, he's coming down. All right, they got him. All right, let me get out my spear. Wait, 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 are they two infantry divisions, or is that our archers? Wait, how are these guys back here? I'm so confused. I want to be with these guys. Are those guys up there? Yo, they're murdering. No, nah, this is the infantry division. Let, let me let me get back with the infantry. Oh my goodness, it seems like they're just straight up just demolishing whoever those guys are. Okay, those are our archers. I like how they just kind of push me out of formation because I don't actually belong here. All right, but it seems like they annihilated our Cav division. I guess Roman Cav is uh isn't that isn't that nice or Calrotic Cav 
Calvary. But we almost got our first kill. So that, that's pretty awesome. Most of the things we've done were purely in training. I like how I have to go to the end of the formation. Because everybody decides that, oh, maybe this is where I was supposed to be. Honestly, Commander, uh, I, I feel like we should charge. But like we should just pull our archers back and we should get in there because they're kind of lighting us up. It looks like our archers, or it looks like our cav is skirmishing with their archers. I don't know where their main infantry force is. Oh, it's over there. What the heck? But now we're just staying in formation because, you know, I don't want to die. Wait, who are you guys? Signifier. Oh, these are like the Praetorians. Oh. Neat. I don't even know what a Praetorian does. No, I think a centurion is like the leader of a cohort or something like that. Roman history is not my my forte. Well, I mean, I just know bits and pieces of history. I wouldn't say any history is my forte. Oh, they have a circle because... Oh, they're in a circle because... Oh, because they're scared of us. Because we have a bigger army. I like how the elite troops are kind of in the back. Or maybe I don't. It's a little weird. Wait, why are we retreating? Wait, why are we going back? Really, you should just use your archers to just shoot at them in a circle until, you know, they give in. Alright, that wasn't too bad. So many things going on right now. I'm so confused. They're throwing, they're throwing all types of things. They're throwing slings and all that stuff. Let me see if I can get one of these riders. So I just want some XP. Oh. He died. <laughs> I, I wanted to kill him personally. Vent of the wrong. Killed by a Sagittarius. Uh oh. Uh, looks like it's about infantry charging time. Oh, our poor archers. Alright, let's do this. Whoa, these are the Batanians have two handers. Hold on, hold on. Well, let me let me back up a little bit, you know you know what I'm saying? So many things going on. Now this is war. And from this our main man's is gonna be formed. I don't think I got in a single kill. I'm just trying not to die. Oh there we go. Yeah, okay, our our main infantry is over there. I don't know how they ended up tracking me out of everybody. They must know who I am. Wait, did I just get a double kill? <laughs> oh, I must have pierced through on that. Oh, holy crap. Oh, we lost. Defend my position. What do you mean defend my position? We, we just got slaughtered. Uh-oh. Might, might be time to dip. Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta blast. Uh oh, this guy will not leave me alone. Well, might as well get as much XP as possible. And if they capture me, so be it. As long as I don't die. Uh oh. Okay, time to go, time to go. Pace, 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 pace. Gotta go, gotta go, go. Gotta run fast. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I like how I like how significantly faster they are than me, but I'm still making it. Do I look like I'm finna charge to you? Yo, I'm, fi I'm finna make it. I'm finna make it. Okay, okay. I, I gotta move over towards these guys. You think if I drop my gear? Yeah, I was like, you think if I drop my gear, things will go by faster? <laughs> oh my goodness. Get out the way. Get out the way. Thank you. Distract them. Oof, let's go. Pace, 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 pace. Look, Joshua wants to live his life today. Okay, normally I would have run away, but I think this is pretty entertaining. So that's the exact reason why I'm running away. Don't even have any gear any longer. Now, if a horseman comes, it's wraps. 
but I seem to sort of kind of be making it. I don't know how they annihilated us like that. I guess their infantry was better with the like the blood, the oats. One, the, I mean, with the two handers and everything. I feel like our our commanders just had bad tactics. Thought this was like a, a well-oiled machine or something like that. Oh crap, baskets! Oh, thank goodness I'm alive. Think I can ride this? Oh my goodness! Of course he stabs the horse. You, you know I couldn't ride it. Yo, this is a really far distance. It's a run. How am I alive? Yo, this is insane. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, that's that's the rat. That's that's the last of us. Yeah, we're all dying. Hey, I killed six guys actually. Good, our good man's Joshua killed six guys. Let's go ahead and end the battle. He did a really good job. Dang, I can't believe we lost our first battle, though. I thought we'd do better, to be completely honest. So, our captors are not in a murderous mood, so they will let us go. Thank goodness. So, uh, we're just gonna... Head back now. We can actually join whoever we want to do, or who whoever we want to join. But we're gonna go back to Zionica. We're gonna find the Opolis, whatever his name is. Sorry, our right, one hand it's better. So we're gonna use, we're gonna deflect. I think I like deflect a little better. We're gonna see if we can find our commander again. Now we're naked. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, now we're naked. I will use, I will have this sword gladly. Empire Gladiator to reinforce guard. I like how the thrust that also does cut damage. Looks like our cast of capacity is exceeded because we're slower than molasses. So how much weight can we have? Let's see, so let's get rid of some of this grain. Oh, it's, it's this. This is heavy. Yeah, we don't have a horse. We could buy ourselves a horse, though. Yeah. Because we do have 10k. I'm going to just let... I'm just going to... We can work something out. There you go. Because I'm, I'm not trying to get into a fight with anybody. We could buy ourselves some clothes, too. All right, let's go and is, is is this a trade button? Yeah, there we go. I, I just gonna see it. We can't get a single horse. Get some armor though. Let's see. Get an Empire toga. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. No, nah, I really, I really just wanted the horse. Now I can go to one of the. It's like one of these places might breed horses nearby. It's Krotor. Remember when Cerobolis did his campaign? That's who he served under. But Joshua has a new man. Or Joshua has a new general to serve under. I just love it up. Okay, great. Athletics. Now we're going to be slow as molasses. Okay, let's drop the armor. Dang, this is really good armor, though. Like, like, useful armor later in life. I could go... Wait, why don't I just go and buy a horse? Just, just buy a horse just to have. But dang, this, this man... This man Joshua out here is carrying 65 pounds of grain. I mean, 65 pound horse armor. Just walking around with it. Okay, let's trade. Batanian pony, you need a riding skill of 10. I don't have that. Crazy. There we go. We got three horses. So now we should be able to move quickly. Yeah, there we go. And let's find our... Come on. Let's find our lord, Theopolis. 
Now, I don't know if he's going to like me more because I went specifically back to him, but we'll see. Yeah, that's why I thought he should be a Zionica now. It looks like the Batanians are smacking us up a little bit. The fact that we lost so quickly. And that our Emperor lost. Or is he General Garos? I don't know who he is. I think we definitely need an increase in uh, riding. I think we can ride like Sumter horses and stuff like that until we get better. Do 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 do. Alright, let's go. And they found me anyway. Nah, I'm not trying to fight these guys. I have no anything. I do have pretty good charm. I would say Joshua's a handsome dude. Alright, medicine's coming up. Let's see if we can enlist in. Or let's see. Let's hope Theopolis is here. Which he is not. I could have just checked from outside, actually. Alright, where did he go? Where did he go? Theopolis, where did you go? If I can find an Imperial Lord, I can find him that way. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on the search for Theopolis. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so after wandering around for a little bit, turns out that our good friend Theopolis is a prisoner in this castle. And my game also crashed. So I found a Sumter horse and I put, you know, some armor on it. So I'm gonna wait for these guys to do this. Take this castle. And, um, okay, I guess these guys just don't care about me. That's fine. I was just a soldier anyway. And I mean, I'm not with anybody's army, so... Right, so now he should be at Z Zionica. At first, I thought he was just near it, but he was in it, so that that that's pretty fun. But I'm I'm very excited because my game's been running smoothly, you know, minus that one crash. But it's just it just seems to be a crash that just kind of happened, so it was not like caused by anything that causes the game to be unplayable. So I'm happy. Because I'm finally able to play this. That's just me personally venting. Let's get back to the story. So, all right, so Joshua's going to go on and head on his way to Zionica. And try not to get into any bandits before he has to give them more money. So that he can go back and be reunited with his lord, Theopolis. Now, we can just kind of like... What we can do is that we can absolutely just kind of, you know, go to whoever we want to go every once in a while. But I think I want him to serve under Theopolis for a little for a little while. Just a single guy. Let's make sure to check these castles too, just in case, because Garius is already gone, I suppose. Where, where is this man? Where did he go? He was last seen there today. So where is he? The, this man, did he teleport? Am I, am I missing him? I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you. This is his brother. Or sibling, cousin, whatever. I don't know. They're all in the same family. Huh, he's literally not here. We might have to enlist with somebody else. He might enlist with the Emperor himself. Perhaps. Or Acracia. Huh. Strange. This also belongs back to Batania. So if he moved then I'm going to leave them alone. But I don't know, I can't find them. Right, so let's go find into the nearest lord in the West Empire to serve under. We'll serve under him. Oh, Tadios, yeah, you. Hopefully this time they won't get defeated. Right, so, so let's like discuss. I like to enter your warband as a soldier. Thanks. And I should have the same, yeah, the same stuff. Ooh, a tournament. I like how we've just been doing tournaments basically this entire time. 
That's a good way for us to get XP. And we get good stuff out of it. And we get a cataphract's half scale barding. Which it's even more. I should have bet. Because, you know, I'm finna win. Man, taking taking a, a pylum to the shield must hurt, though, for real, for real. There we go. Got him. Auxiliary Cohort Paratus. Skip. All right, yeah. Give me some money. Because this is a good way to give us a lot of money. And I also have Kaisel's Tweaks, which is why tournaments pay a lot more than they usually would. No, he did the exact same thing that I did. Think you think you're gonna do the same thing to me? Oh, I was gonna just, I was gonna do the same thing to him. Bash, stab, stab. Look, look, look at those skills. Bash. See everything that my battle master taught me came in handy. Wait, I have a bow. Wow. I'm really sucky with this. Oh man, my main man's Tadios might have to stab him in the back. I had to. You know, to win the tournament, of course. You know, and pr plus, you know, it's practice for later. You know, betraying people and all. But I was never their friend to begin with. Ah, oh, Tadios. He's going to get vengeance on me, has he? For, you know, shooting him in the back of the head. Oh, he really. Ooh. Uh, that's got hurt. It's like you got a little pylum in your face. Or a little face in your pylum. What the heck just happened? I was like, oh, oh, it's because I disabled the hood. I was like, yo, and there's no way that my game is broken like this. Now we have a cataphract sc half scale barding, which it's even heavier than the other one that I have, but. This is some good stuff to use, though. Hey, I've been promoted. To, I'm a fine warrior. Thank you. All right, so now I can train with the troops and everything. So I can change my equipment now. And I want to be a Miles. I don't want to be a Slinger. That's lame. I'm going to train with the troops. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's on automatic. I'm going to do melee. <laughs> But it does grow your skills really, really, really fast. I'm going to let this go for a little while. I'll see you guys in a second. Although, actually, I take that back. My, my, I'm getting beat up right now. Yeah, I just got slaughtered. Okay. Never mind. It's good training, though. And we're going to keep the same assignment because we're going to keep like passively building up our athletics. Tedios. It's kind of like Adios. Tedius? Uh, well, how, do, how, do, how do I say that name? Tadios. I'm, I'm just going to say Tadios. Whatever I mispronounce, I mispronounce. But if you want to correct me, you can. I'll try my best. It is Garius. Right, so we'll just keep waiting here. As much as I like to train with the troops again can't do that i kind of like the new train with the troops because i think before in freelancer like the mod this is kind of based off of or a continuation of it away you just kind of like did stuff and then you got hurt or you didn't get hurt stuff like that you got tired you had to wait like eight hours to do it but i kind of like that version better guards set to minius okay uh lead the way hopefully i have my armor and my weapon Hopefully. Man, when do I get a Pelum? When do I get armor armor? Stuff I'm wearing is sucky. Or Pylum. Whatever. But I think this is one of the Radiant Quest. And I've never done these before, so this should be a fun time. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, is it just me? 
I mean, I'm sufficient. Wow. I mean, yeah, I'm sufficient, but jeez. That's a lot of guys. They surrounded me, of course. We won! I was so back. I was so close. If I was able to keep backing up, they probably hate me now. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, glad I could help then. That's awesome. Nice. It would have been even better if I got all of them. So I got a high charm. So self promoter gain five influence by winning a tournament. Or virile. Huh. Huh. For gain five and no. Let's get virile. You know, for my future wife, so we can have kids. As you never know. It's like to be an infertile man. Alright, so they beat me up pretty good, but I still got still healing. So I wanna get at least one more battle going. What's that little flag? Is that me? Oh, there's a legionaris miles and evoke. What does what, what this stuff even mean? I have no idea. Well, we're all part of the Sporian's army. Okay. Whoever this guy is. He's got a few horse archers. Okay, guys. So my game crashed again. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode. I'll just take that as a sign for me to stop recording. I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys make sure you have a blessed day and know that Jesus loves you. See you guys later.